Hey guys, I wanted to just say a little thing before going into the actual video. Um, I want to say a big thank you for all the nice feedback on the first episode. I really appreciate that a lot. It has been a lot of fun to make those. So I'm happy that people like to watch it. And I'm still trying to get stuff... Or like get new levels for the series but i already got some requests which is cool i will try that i can go through them i have some levels in mind there are some new levels coming out that i want to do and yeah i hope you'll keep enjoying the series with more episodes i can probably not make them daily because they are they take a lot of time to make but i will try my best and okay, that's all what, that I wanted to say. Enjoy the video. The theme of insanity and the struggles to escape from it has been a clearly common choice for creators in this game. Final Disaster by Alvaro RH99 follows roughly the same theme while depicting it with great effects which create a very well-fitting atmosphere. The level starts out pretty simple with not much of a variation in color and design, which only gets interrupted by some flashes of red and yellow at times. The designs here are simple but nice looking and create a nice start to the level. After the dash at 5%, the level heats up and adds red and yellow at its main color scheme, with the effects getting wilder. I like this choice a lot as it prepares the player for what is about to come. After a nice title card, the level ramps up for the first time. It keeps the red and yellow color scheme but adds effect and movements into that mix. That creates a part that feels super intense. My highlight here has to be the hard animation at 14%. It's a really nice looking animation that fits perfectly into the part. Same goes for the background, which features fast moving old school TVs, which even though being a new added asset into the part, they feel like a really good choice here. That is especially clear at the end of the part, where the screen flickers black and white, while the forming void in the background tries to consume the player. At the same time, the monitors on the bottom read the phrase, no way to feel good again, a sign that the inevitable descent into insanity has started. The next part continues the grayscale from the previous transition, even though it is frequently interrupted by flashes of red and yellow, colors that have been very prominent throughout the level. The part is a really nice depiction of helplessness, as a last struggle is made to escape the approaching chaos. The simple block designs, as well as chosen colors, add a lot to that feeling, and I like that a lot. I also love how the flickering used in this part gets faster and faster the further you go through it. 
Another amazing way of building up to the drop, and with it the arrival of chaos in the player's mind. Speaking of the drop, it's the part that comes next, and from here on out the level reaches its climax, with it being fast-paced and chaotic, while still staying true to the theme and creating amazing intensity. What I find incredible about this and the upcoming parts is that, even though the effects are chaotic and all over the place, it never feels out of place or messy. This just shows how well crafted level is, as not a lot of player uh, creators are able to achieve something like that. Like the last part, the next part carries over the exact same qualities. It feels intense and chaotic while being clean and well structured all the time. It feels like every movement the creator added fulfills its purpose, which makes the part so much more fun to look at. I like the addition of the eye that watches you until it crashes into the structure at the top. Little things like that aren't easy to notice when playing, but they add so much more life to a level. Next up is the last slow section of the level, used to prepare the player for the finale that is about to happen. It does reuse the TVs from the second part, which this time show the creator's icon flickering on the screen. I like this little detail as it's used to bring the boss fight that's coming next to life. The boss fight is the main attraction of the final two parts, and even though I'm not the biggest fan of boss fights, this one is really well made. It can be inter interpreted as the player fighting themselves to get their sanity back while trying to avoid being trapped in their broken mind forever. The boss fight does have two phases, the first being similar in structure of the first two drop parts, and the last one being the final showdown. This was another highlight of the level for me, as all the attacks and the animations looked really good, and it's a super intense ending to the level. Overall, the level is the perfect depiction of the theme for me. The progression the creator was able to achieve here is amazing, from the very calm beginning to the slow descent up until the final fight for sanity. Everything in the level is done to create the perfect little story, which I am a huge fan of, and I think Alvari can be really proud of their work, as it's a truly memorable experience. On to the gameplay, I didn't find anything bad or unfair about it at all. It does feature some difficult sections, very expected from a medium demon, the projected difficulty of the level. The first parts feature simple cue timings, with some fakes mixed to keep the player's attention. I like the choice in gameplay here as it fits the vibe of the level perfectly, while not being unfair at all. The game mode change into a UFO happens after the title screen, together with the speed change to keep the gameplay fast paced, while the level increases in intensity. This was an obvious choice to make as keeping the gameplay slow would have made it awkward to play for sure. The base gameplay though is really fun, with well synced timings and a nice open ship part into the next part of the level. Due to the effects, it can, can get a bit hard to read, but nothing a practice run can't fix. The way is also clearly marked, so everything is fair to the player. Next up is another slow section of the level, with some easy cube and robot gameplay, which is again very well marked and fitting to the part of the level. Choosing the right type of gameplay for your part is super important to make the experience a good one, and the creator sure did a good job. They stay true to that, with the drop gameplay being very well, well synced and fast paced again, fitting perfectly to the level's current aesthetic. It changes into a cube later on, which does have some difficult moments due to the effects, which partly cover some clicks, but I recommend to practice those a bunch to ensure you remember them. Next up is another ship section, in which it might be a bit hard to see which are the actual obstacles that can kill you, but due to the route being clearly marked, even someone who sightreads it should be able to not struggle with it too much. The final two parts are probably the hardest part for me, as the cube and robot part that's next is filled with tiny pieces of memorization that is confusing at first for sure, but very intuitive. The jumps are marked again, but due to it being really fast and some fakes being present, it can be a roadblock if not practiced enough. If the, the last boss fight has the same features really, it's well marked with indicators showing where the attacks will hit, but the speed and overall chaos can make it hard to stay focused on that. Practicing the boss is highly recommended, which makes the fight really fun to play like the rest of the level. The overall gameplay though is super fun. It fits very well to the level and plays really well. It does have parts that require a bit of learning, but with a projected difficulty of a medium demon, that's nothing that should come as a huge surprise. Really well crafted gameplay by Alvaro here, and I hope they keep it up. At the end I can say that this level is depicting its chosen theme massively. From the designs, the effects, the progression as a whole. Everything is super well crafted and creates an amazing experience. 
that paired with really fun and fitting gameplay makes me hope that this receives an epic rating, which would be very well deserved. As the creators said themselves, this is their best work and I sure hope it does get rewarded with this. Even if not, there is no doubt in my mind that this level is at least getting featured and will be remembered by the community for a good while.